Hello, District 5960 Rotarians and Rotaractors. This is District Governor Paul Perez, and we have a special edition of Around the District. With me are District Governor-elect Ed Merrick, District Governor nominee Kenny Kloster, and District Governor nominee designate Dale Quigley. We also have a special guest, White Bear Lake Rotarian Steve Griffith, who is our incoming district membership team lead for 2020-2021. Welcome, Steve. April's edition focuses on what clubs could and should be doing during this unprecedented time. It's a time of uncertainty as our everyday lives and how our Rotary Club's functions are disruptive. With disruption comes innovation and opportunities. Here to start us off on our top 10 things is Dale. There is no better time than now. The quicker clubs get back to a regular routine, the better. Remember, in times of uncertainty, routine grounds people. Establish regular connections, even though the normal might be different. You can still hold a regular club meeting, just virtually. On connecting, don't forget your own. Don't forget those vulnerable members in your clubs, those who may be socially isolated on a daily basis. Be sure somebody is looking in on them, calling them, checking in. Remember, Rotary is a family and a lifeline to many. Okay, Kenny. Review of club finances. Now that there are no live meetings, what are the costs of operating the club in the near term? Once you know that, determine what that means to the dues charged to members. Is this an opportunity to give our cooks and servers at the venues we meet at who may not be generating income? You're up, Steve. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Send weekly emails about members doing great things. Try to reach out to your members at least once a week. Share how Rotarians are supporting local businesses. What do you have, Ed? Consider using technology to connect. Find a tech expert in the club. Zoom has a discount through Rotary Global Rewards. If you don't have a tech person, reach out to the district for assistance. We have tech ready to help. Paul? There are even more opportunities to connect with others. Check out the district calendar on our website for meetings going on in the district and in the clubs. We continue to update it. If you have meetings or events happening, you too can list those on the district website. See the link in the body of the text for the video on how to do that. Back to you, Dale. Rotarians are people of action who believe in service above self. Right now, our communities are all in crisis. How are you serving your community? Can you reach out to community partners and other organizations? What about nursing homes and picking up a resident there as a pen pal? Do you have committed money that now can't be spent as intended? Can you repurpose those funds to help your community now? There are certainly plenty of options. Food shelves, homeless shelters. There are even clubs out there sewing masks for the medical personnel. Make sure your community knows that Rotary is here now to help, not only during the crisis, but after the crisis resolves. All right, Kenny. Use virtual meetings as an opportunity. We are Rotarians and we need to connect and see friendly faces, even if it is virtually. Invite former members to join. Welcome in the public to check out Rotary. Steve? Look to the future. We all had events planned, and then the world changed. But we need to look ahead. Form a committee to start adapting events you had planned. Contact venues for options. Will you cancel or postpone or adapt? For fundraisers, do you know what you need to raise to continue your giving and doing? What are alternative ways to fundraise for your club? It's over to you, Ed. Let's get creative in our connections. How about a virtual happy hour? Beauty there is you don't have to worry about the drive home. Or maybe start subgroups like a monthly book club. How about a virtual women's wind down Wednesday? Just don't forget to invite the men. Paul? Look to the district. We are here to support you. We have given you many ideas and it can be overwhelming with all that's going on, including uncertainty and drastic changes to our everyday life. The rest of the leadership and I are ready and willing to help. And don't forget to invite us to your meetings and events. 
We all enjoy happy hours and just seeing friendly Rotarian faces. We realize many clubs have already changed how they are meeting and adjusting what they are doing, or even stepped up to assist their communities. We would love to hear this so we can share the best practices with other clubs. Thank you, stay safe, be healthy, and continue to connect the world from a distance. Thank you.